Yeah, I was surprised I didn't get an agenda from Laura. Oh, did you not end up getting one? No, I finally got it today. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. She usually gets it to us on Friday last week. So. Yeah, she was out. Well, she was. I she was out on Friday. Oh, okay. okay. I think I have another perk test coming up. I want to take you out to another one because that one that I took you out to yeah. ended up getting really stupid and silly really quickly. And then they, like, usually the, I asked them to give me a little bit of time yeah. for, like, my inspection so that, you know, I can call you and make sure that you're available so you can come along. But it was one of those, like, Caesar showed up in my office and was like, hey, we're having an issue where the previous um, like tank like broke. And so we need we need to start backfilling and I need you to come look at it right now. Like it was like a. Yeah, no problem. But I didn't forget and I want to make you I want to make sure you get out to one. Now, this regulation, does it have to go in front of somebody after us? Um, I believe so. Yeah, I I haven't even remotely put it in front of um town council. Town council yet. Oh. This was just um in relation to way back now, um, back when this whole rat issue was just a rat poison yep. issue. Um the the gentleman whose dogs were injured in the original case specifically was like, you know, I would really love to see a regulation in place to protect our animals going forward so that this doesn't happen again. So I just tried to put something together to just to kind of see what you guys thought. So it's more of like a FI one, FI one, for your information. Yeah. Okay. I'll wait to go live on uh, ABMI because not everybody's here yet. Mm -hmm. How we make it out on the rat problem? Did they? Did you go up to the house? Yeah, I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna talk about it in the okay. meeting, but um, yeah, we made progress. I got D and D down there. So, hey, Vinny, what's up? Hey, so uh, I'm heading up, just crossing at Elm Street or Pecky Scotia. So I should be there in about three, three minutes. Okay, no problem. Rick's here. We're just chilling. So whenever you get here, we can okay. we can start. So no big deal. Okay, thank you. No okay. problem. See you soon. Bye. He's in South Bellingham. So yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I actually. I thought it was kind of comical because I made I specifically said in the letter that I handed to the GC who was on site at Dorothy 
if you do not tell me or give me a receipt of the pest control before Friday at midnight, we as the town board of health are sending DNT and you will be sent the bill, whether it be in the form of a lien on your property or the direct bill itself. I didn't get a response until the following Monday where the guy was like, oh, we're on it. I'm like, okay, I already sent them. <laughs> like, too late. Here's the bill. So. How much was it? Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I actually have to double check. I don't know exactly. I, I don't even think it's. Is that one of the bills in a package tonight? No, 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 it's not. I actually, in fact, think that um, the freezer in here. Yeah, I, I swear to God, I didn't touch anything. I have no idea why it's that cold. I got that's why I got my jacket on. Yeah, I didn't bring a jacket. Eighty degrees out. Yeah. I honestly don't even know where the temperature controls are for this room. I'm looking right now. Oh, well, it's definitely seventy-two. Yeah, it's way lower than 72. Yeah, it's about the 75. Not on the air conditioner. How do you have the how do you have the how do you have the air conditioner set to 72? It's 71 degrees outside, but it's still hotter. Um, I believe so. I got to call. I got. I was gonna just call him when Vinny gets here, instead of having him sit on the phone. Oh God. Oh. Laura, how was it today? I know when I called you this morning, it was a little hectic. It was totally crazy. <laughs> of You'll course. You'll see when you look at my desk. <laughs> oh, I walked into my office and I saw a couple of notes on my desk. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> it was very busy today. I'm sure. Of course, it's always it's always the days where I'm not there or you're not there or we're short staffed in general. That's when everyone yeah. decides to come to us with our problems. Well, Bill helped out a lot and then Karen came in at 1030, but of course it kind of slowed down after that but i made it through oh yeah uh yeah i i, I felt bad my day was dragging and then when i called you you seemed so you seemed so stressed out. i was like oh gosh i'm sorry uh, like, oh yeah. did you had a boring day no i mean yes and no it was i i think the, the thing is is like everyone's on a different level with their knowledge. And so where I've been doing perk tests for a little bit, I have a little bit more knowledge than like the quote unquote average person in the class who's like still uh. learning. So like they're teaching it from the level of you have no idea what a form 11 is and you need to know everything. Yeah, Whereas from my perspective, kind of I'm like, eh. I already know what a Form 11 is. I know how to fill out most of the items. I just need to like get the certification and get the get the intricacies down, and then I'll be good. So, so they kind of went line by line. Yeah, it was just a little bit dragged out. Like I had, like we had normally, normally on like at an actual site, you know, Steve and I will take maybe 10, 15 minutes to log a hole um we were taking it took us we did three holes in eight hours today oh my goodness wow so for something that normally takes me about 10 or 15 minutes it was a little bit long um, what time <laughs> did you get back 
Oh, that's the other fun thing. Traffic was awful, so I didn't. I, uh, I actually, I actually drove back to the office. I got to the office at six o'clock, and my girlfriend actually met me here. <laughs> we went and grabbed food real quick, and then oh, she left because it didn't even make good. sense. It didn't even make sense for me to go home because it was like by the time I get home, I'm gonna sit down for ten minutes and then have to turn around and get and go back. Yeah, especially with the traffic going home too. Oh yeah. Exactly. So you know, it's been terrible in the morning. South Maine has been backed up almost to my house. It's been terrible in the morning. It's always terrible in the morning because I'm, of you know the uh the buses and everything. But yeah, maybe what I'm I've just... noticed is like both I, I mean I don't notice it as much in the morning because I'm not coming from there, but afternoon I thought it was just during like that rush hour four to five. No, it goes until six o'clock. Yeah. North Maine is backed up. It's ridiculous. Bellingham turned into the city. Honestly, it is. North Maine was backed up all the way past Marty's at six o'clock in the after in the in the afternoon. Wow. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. And everyone should be home by then. That's like true. it was ridiculous. Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very good. All right, I'm going live on AVMI before I forget. So, yeah, where where is Vinny? Vinny is on his way. He's running late. He called me and told me he was running late. So. Oh. Yeah, he and was... I thought I thought. Uh, Rick Montanelli said he was going to be at this meeting. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. I was going to call him when Vinny gets here, so that way he's not just sitting here on the phone waiting for Vinny. Yeah, I just for some reason I thought he said, "Oh, I'll be there at the next meeting." Maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, I had no idea, but. I was telling Rick, it should be a pretty quick meeting. We really just have a couple points to touch upon and then bills and we're, and we're good. Yeah. So. So then you can go home and relax. I'm going to go home and sleep, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I've been up since like, like 530 this morning. Yeah. You know, sitting in a class like that, you're only <laughs> sitting there, and do, but it's wearing. It's just a lot of information all at once, you know, like it's just a lot of just they're throwing a lot of info at you. Well, it's just it's a lot to digest. Of, By the end of the day, like yeah. your body's tired from walking around everywhere. Your brain's wow. tired from all the information. Like you're just tired. Like, when, is, when is your next class? Uh, next Tuesday. Oh, and, so Got a little bit of time. Well, yeah, but next I'm I'm out two weeks or two days next week, so we'll have to I'll have to make sure that we're all set in the office if you need me for anything or because I'm out on Tuesday and Thursday next week. Well, Michelle is back Tuesday. Oh, that's good. Then we'll be fine. Yeah, and then between Karen and Tootie, we should be good. Hello, hello, hello. I got my daughter. The train was late. No problem. I'm going to call Mr. Martinelli. Rockstar VA. Yeah, W. Boy. Things are never ready. Yeah. All right, there, Richie. Yeah. Okay. Um, we were just discussing. We weren't sure if he was going to be in person or calling in this meeting. Okay. Just figured I'd give him a ring. He said something. He said. Wasn't sure if he said it. But he said, I'll see you Tuesday. Then he's leaving for his training. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. What's up, kid? Nothing much. Are you are you on your way? Yeah. Oh shit. It's okay, don't worry about it. I was gonna say if you want, I could just call you in. Oh, uh, what time is it now? It's 7 10. Vinny just oh, got I, here. I, so. I got late. I just got out of the show. Is this just don't work? That's all right. What kind of meeting is it? 
It's just, it's, I mean, it, it's more to help, but I mean, it's not like we have. No, I know, I know that, but I mean, I'm yeah, sure. I mean, it's not like I was going to say, it's not like we really have anything pressing. It's just yeah. a couple, yeah. couple updates, couple bills. I could fill you in afterwards. Okay. Okay. If you want to call me in and I can say, yay, I got second, whatever. You can do that. Yeah, yeah whatever. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't make it to four or eight. Yeah, no, that's fine. No, if you no, want, no. I can just, do you want to just stay on the phone and we'll just run the meeting? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Make a motion open. All right, sounds good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Good, Richard. Okay. Being 7 10, I'd like to open 12. I've opened the meeting for the Bellingham Board of Health on September 17, 2024. Myself and 40 chair, vice chair Rick Gilberti, member Richard Martinelli, agent, health, health agent Dylan Labonte, Miss Cliff Laura no. First order of business has a minutes from September. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of September 3rd, 2024, as typed. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. So carried. Okay. We have no tobacco food inspector stuff, health agent updates. So I got Dorothy Ave. I got pretty much three quick updates. Uh Dorothy Ave, that's the house that we've been talking about. Correct. Um, so that's the house that the has family. the rat issue okay. that is now. The, so the homeowner has now left the property. He has vacated the premises as of September 1st. Uh, I sent a letter. I actually hand delivered a letter um, on site. Uh, and I told them, you know, if we don't get word, I, I believe it was a Thursday. And I told them if we don't get confirmation of pest control services by Friday evening, we're sending pest control services. Right. I did not receive that confirmation. DNT has been sent. They have already done their I believe yesterday was their follow-up right um so I'm gonna be honest with you I haven't gotten the chance to like physically sit down and check my email yet in regards That's to right. receipts and anything that they said as part of the follow-up but I just yeah. wanted to let you guys know where it was at okay. so that's so where the situation the follow-up will tell us whether they located rat nests where they had droppings or they already know that oh they know that. that okay they showed this up is going to be they like, already played we did so, pretty much okay. so okay. they went basically so in in our last meeting right. we said you know we're sending them that weekend correct so that's what we that's what i did right okay so unfortunately i wasn't able to get them there literally on that weekend so they went that monday so they went there that monday and then so they they baited they placed traps they baited right. them they they checked out the property they were actually able to get inside of the house which was also a huge positive it's come to find out there was rats in the attic so oh yeah the place was infested so um to my knowledge they've taken care of it i just have to you know that's fine i have to talk to them tomorrow and see what the uh yeah, what the outcome the, how everything came out there'll be a bill for that which will go to that mortgage company yep. yeah and well we don't got to worry about the bill it's the other thing i want to know is you know how long do you think that's continuous and whether this is now yep. going to affect surrounding homes? Yeah. Because this and the is other the thing, hive, let's say. Yeah. Or, yeah. The, the, other, the other thing um, was I know last time uh, one of the residents had mentioned the lady next door. The lady next door. Her old door. Yeah. I, I, I haven't gotten the chance to get over there. I mean, I guess as a board, do you guys think that? You know, it's, it's it's worth it to essentially do the same thing. If we did, though, it's a little different because it's not like it's a foreclosed property where right, I could just correct. say, I have the power. You go, like, there's someone living. No, I think what I would do is with her, especially first, I would definitely, if you don't go with them, you know, elder services needs to be called. Uh, we could use the police department to do a wellness check. Yeah. Because I was thinking of either that, I was thinking a well, wellness how check. How about the senior center? I mean, you know, a senior take care our senior. True. She's a Bellingham resident. So but I'm thinking get somebody from the senior center to go with you. Yeah. And you know, I'm sure thinking, the, yeah, I'm I want to make sure I want to go well yeah, because I wanna because yeah. I can't it's like a, my crux there was I didn't want to just send DNT to the lady's house. No, no, no. You know what no, I mean? I, I don't want to do that, right? Right. We don't want to do that. She lives there. No, we don't so want I'm not just gonna I'm not just gonna blast her with the best control guy. Okay. She's okay. Yeah. I mean obviously she may not know if rats are going in, but you know, I'm also concerned about, you know, if you're laying in bed and you're not moving, you know, if there's not enough food, you are the food source. Yeah. That's Dubai. Yeah. You know? So I'll um 
So I guess I mean this week I'll just. And have I'm hoping that, that didn't happen. I, also, is it possible to have DNT come to our next meeting to yeah. explain what they did, right. how they did it, why they did right. what they saw? Yeah, uh, I don't see why not. I go on record to right. that, right. Right. and yeah. the people can hear it. Right. Yeah. Right. But, I'd be I'd be more than happy to yeah, give them a call and see if they can and, bring and maybe a, send an inspector in. Those you know what I mean? Yeah. I think I actually have because the 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 gentleman who actually conducted the service reached out to me because I gave them my work cell yep. phone at oh, the yeah. contact primary contact. So I believe I actually have the the literal technician who did the yeah, service. I would talk to D and T themselves, of course. Yeah. yeah. And say, listen, can somebody come here right. and just explain what they did, right. what they saw, how they're working it, and and, and what the outcome is going to be. And I would invite those residents who are here, especially from that avenue. Or they can be on TV watching yeah. us. Yeah. So I think we just need to get it on record. Definitely. Thanks. And actually, to that point as well, uh, I just wanted to mention, um, we actually had a, a Bellingham resident who lives on Dorothy Ave. He is diagonally across from this house okay. who actually does like, I guess, flipping, like how he does like house flipping and he's okay. interested in like contracting and stuff. Right. And he actually came into the office yesterday and spoke with myself and Tim, as well as um, Betsy, as far as, you know, what the... Uh, availability is for potentially purchasing and you right. know trying to well, fix up that problem. You would have to go to the mortgage company. Oh yeah. I'm sure there's that's basically what we told them yeah. is that he's gonna have to go through the mortgage company and right. figure that out. But it hasn't even hit a short sale. But I just figured I'd let you guys know that yeah, that right. I mean there's already yeah. there's already interest in purchasing and flipping the property. So I think that's a great sign. Yeah, yeah. it is. You know? Because they'll clean it up. Exactly. Probably. Exactly. So um I think that's pretty much all I have on Dorothy okay. Yeah. The next one I just kind of threw this on there just to let you guys know. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm at my cellular evaluator course. Uh, I know, Rick, I know we wanted to get you into that when they waitlisted you, which That's was fine. But um, I've, I've gotten through my first two classroom sessions and I had my first field session today. Uh, so I was up in top field. field two session. So I have, so next week, I will have um, my final classroom session okay. on Tuesday, right. and then I will have my test for the classroom right. on Thursday. Right. Um, then you have a hands-on test. And so yep. it's, um, right. We can talk about that actually right. at, when we approve the employee calendar because right. they're identified on there. Right. Um, okay. But I have a couple. I have a couple of those. I have two more. I'll have two more field sessions and then a, and then a class field session. So where are your field sessions on? So the the last two, yeah, actually the last two. For, so this one was Tops Field. Okay. Next, I got to go out to Deerfield and then Southampton. Okay. So you're in the Amherst area, where oh, I oh yeah oh was it good best. Oh, and the best part is out there is Connecticut River Valley, so I got to right. deal with red soils. Oh, I right. got to figure right. out redox on red yep. soil. Oh yeah, be fun. Yeah. But I digress. Right. We're making good progress oh, there. It's good. Um, I love it. Did I've, you get been, your Munsell book yet already? Purchase your Munsell book? Actually, I was able to get my Munsell book for free from Rob, the town planner, because he said, you know, instead of paying right. 300 bucks for it, yeah. I have yeah. one. So he gave it right to me. Yeah, so I've been using it. Yeah, right. they're $300 they're now. Yeah. Now. yeah, they're ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And, and the so, soil value license was still 300 so Yeah. Still I think, I actually don't, I think it might be more now. Yeah, I guess it is. It was three hundred nineteen ninety five or ninety eight rather. Anyway, so that's it. Oh, um, Laura said she lost us, but I mean, we uh, seem to be still working fine. Okay, so, I think it might be. I think it might. So be I think that's great, up. and we'll update more yep. on that. Okay. Yeah. So hemorrhagic rat poison regulation draft. Um. Yeah. I. That's more so. Um. I just kind of put something very basic together. Uh. The reason being was that, uh, as I was saying to Rick before the meeting, do you remember way, way, way back when this whole rat thing first started on right. Dorothy? Right. It actually started because a gentleman's dogs were poisoned because um, someone was having a rat issue and was dealing with it with their own hemorrhagic poison. Right. So um, the dogs actually ate the rats. Poison. No, the the rats carried the poison over onto this gentleman's property okay and then his dog ate the poison thinking it was 
I don't know. And then the dog got sick. Okay. So I kind of put together a basic draft. I haven't even gotten the chance to right. send it to right. town council. Right. I just kind of wanted to show you guys just to say that A, it's in the works, B, get your, gauge your interest, okay. and C, just show you some of the basic language I have on there because I okay. think it would be important to, um, I, I don't know how, I, mean, I don't know how it would work okay. to be honest with you because, you know, for because example, if you can buy the Home Depot, it's going to be hard to ban and use of it. Well, that's what I was going to say. And then I was going to say, what are the penalties if you use Could it? we, you know, could be civilly we... liable if you kill someone's dogs? Yeah, but or could you be public health liable? I don't know. I, I guess the so. question, and I didn't want to, I actually wanted to ask you guys this because yeah. I didn't know. I didn't want to be like too overbearing and of like yeah. our authority. Right. But could we potentially ban the sale of hemorrhagic rat poison and say, we don't want it sold in town. Okay, it's possible. I'd say yes, it is possible to do that. Because there's a difference between rat poison and hemorrhagic rat poison. Right. Because I've been looking into this. Okay. Because now we know the one that is the hemorrhagic rat poison. That's the one that it, there's no cure. It turns your nervous system well, into mush, maybe. and yeah. you yeah. out of all your orifices. Okay. Okay. So. That's the most dangerous one. Right. And I think it's extremely dangerous. Now, would it label that huh, when you buy it? Or is it just simply um kills rats? I don't know it. if I don't know if because then you gotta find a chemical that is the hemorrhagic. So that's actually what I did. Okay. Fine. So if you look at the reg, it's in okay. it's there oh, it's in the packet. Okay. Fine. I, I put some verbiage together. I did look. Okay. And I basically say right there in the reg, I say very basic along the lines of the following, like any poisons that use the following chemicals as their primary kill agent are hereby banned for the use and sale in the town of Bellingham. And those were the, the most- The problem with that is if it's banned here, but we can go to Lowe's and Milford Correct. and buy it. They can go to Woonsocket. They can go to Woonsocket and buy it. Yeah. So, I, I just don't see where we, all, we have- this one, that's, that's, that's a valid I don't point. see where it does anything yeah. for us right. down a valid yeah. If they're going to just go out to another town right. and buy it. No, I, I agree. If it was that's why state, I wanted this. Yeah, if right. it was a state regulation, then I'd say, yeah, that it, makes it, sense. There is a bill. This lady's been pushing it for yeah, like two years. It has, yeah. it has not made okay. it through yeah. the state. Yeah, probably not going to make it. It's probably not going to make it. Because you know what's going to happen is people are saying they, they, that's true, they'll buy it for Adam. Yeah. So that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Like and, fireworks and are illegal in Massachusetts. They you go to Rhode Island. Rhode Island or New Hampshire. Or New Hampshire, yeah. 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 At this Problem point, is you buy it ball. looks good, but it. I just don't see us yeah. banning the sale in our town. Right. I think, no, I, honestly, wise, I think the drafted right should say, it's prohibited to use it. Do what you've got to do, you know. I, I can, if any, so how well, about we might be able to say The it. town says you don't use it. Correct. Bingo. But if you do, that's on your own. Right. And I can create if your poison can be proven. It got to a neighbor's dog. They can sue you. So how about, use how about this then? Instead of like a physical a regulation, right? I can put together like a little educational educational newsletter. Yeah. I think we and should put it on the website. Definitely on the website. Bingo. Yeah. And just yeah. blast it on Facebook, the website. Right. Um, we do that a lot with our stuff that yeah. obviously is not working. Like when we say, what, we have Earth Day, so that's usually working. We get the regular people. Yeah. But we have, um, what do you call it, litter. We have all our bylaws. Yeah. The other one, you know. A bylaw doesn't necessarily. Not feel, bylaw, excuse me, all our regulations. Well, it's it's not the regulation, it's enforcing the reg. And that's one. Right. I, I, I honestly, that's exactly why I wanted your perspective, because I didn't even okay. think of it that way. And. I appreciate you, Rick, for stating that because yeah. that's no, you, it's, that's it's, a great point. I mean, it's right. it's going to be impossible to it's regulate. Right. So, I'll put together a newsletter on that, and um, and yeah, I'll uh, I'll work on getting that out. Right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Warfarin is the main one that I I knew was around, but I'm not sure what the um. I do know that if you buy certain packages, there's a black container, so only the rodent can get in there, and he yep. can't get out. You can chew that stuff. They're but you supposed can, to, but <laughs> you can buy the blocks, and I, yeah. I'm not sure if that's heavily. Yeah, well, yeah, I have to. To be honest with you, I just grabbed like what are the most right. common. But I put them in a building. 
So yeah. nothing can get in there. Yeah. I mean, except for rodents, because they can go through a quarter inch. Yeah. There's no other creature that can go out there. Yeah. And they can't go back out because if once they get in the building there, you're right. It's pretty dramatic. And you know, and if you don't find them, they'll smell a little, but then they'll be like a skeleton. Yeah, they'll dry out. Yeah, they'll dry out. Right. So. so okay, so All right, yeah, done. Okay, good. Yeah, let's do the educational side. Okay, full clinics, employees, and residents. Oh, well, wondering when that was coming. Well, yeah, um, I think that's just kind of it's basically just a I'm note so that you guys okay. know so. we have. We'll actually, for the first time, be running one for residents, as we have always done town employees. So, Correct. okay, good. Even though y'all are uh, board members, you are obviously because you know yeah, we town employees, so you guys can come for the town employee yeah. one. Um, Between you and me, Rick, and Dylan, because you were here, I'm glad Solomon did it before when they had. Walgreens doing it and some not so much CVS because but Walgreens, the person doing it was you know, you're not allowed to hit a bone. Yeah. Even if I'm skinny, you know, yeah, you know, with the needle. It's a 25 gauge needle and that, that, you know, I oh yeah. that hurts. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so that's coming up. So mark your calendars. That's gonna be October second. October second for the employees. Okay, got it. Um, did you get that, Rick? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, Richard. Sorry, Richard. Um, okay. oh, geez, what about the 16th? The 16th is a resident one. Do you would you want to make that one? Or, I mean, you can also go to your you can also go to your doctor and get the Correct. shot yeah. too. So it's up to you. Sure, I just got it from my doctor. Beautiful, fine. I'll set that. All right, so yeah, just got those, just got those two coming down the pipeline. Okay, okay. And we will get out information to residents about that going. Yeah, oh, that's, registered. I mean, okay, fine, you got okay. yeah, because I think they only have a certain, uh, Laura, correct me if I'm wrong, they only have a certain, they only have a certain allotment of, right. um, okay. it's like 100 people or something like that. So the first 100 that register. Yeah, okay. it's 100 to 125. So okay. right. those are the first ones that register. After that, we can't accommodate people. Correct. Okay. And that's for the resident one. Fine. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. So, so uh, yeah. employee calendar. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. So like I said, that's just okay. if you see okay. on there, I got three more classes. I got uh, in person on the second, the day after our board meeting, in person on the eighth, and then in my final exam will be the 16th. Okay. So, so my question to you is, um, just because you might want to find out before that, uh, I, Rick, I was talking to Dell and I said, "Hey, you know, don't forget um, when you get the actual license." You know, I didn't know what the procedure was. Do I go with you, or you just go downstairs, show Beth your certificate? Yeah. Or not so much Beth. She's does she handle HR? Well, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would have to go to Beth, or if I would more so yeah. just have to go to Tony in. The um right the like that does payroll Correct. in this yeah, office it's totally. because but it's already that I already to budgeted take a certificate like you do training yeah and put it in your file at yeah. that point either it comes from Laura or comes from me yep saying hey Dylan's certificate is here he needs to get the next five yeah, yeah. that I so it's I know it's already budgeted right so it's it's but so I so the money's know, there. Like, they just need to. When do you actually get it? You know. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. At that point, we we don't have to use Steve anymore. Dylan's yep. doing all the work tests and soil evaluations. Yeah. We'll yeah, and all I, it. what we have to do is a payroll change notice, and it gets oh. approved by Dennis and Beth, and okay. then we can put it forward to pay. Fine. Heard it. Okay. So would that be done at our board meeting? No, we, we don't even have to go through a board Perfect. meeting. Good. Good. Okay. That's what I was hoping. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Laura. I also have a dumb question on that, Laura, actually. Um, so I think it will, like, obviously, if after I take the test, I'm assuming I'll know whether I passed or not. Like, yeah, they'll tell me a score. Yeah, usually. But I don't know if it's going to take them a little bit for to, to send me, like, the physical certificate. Right. Am I going to have to wait to get the physical certificate so I have something to show? Or would it be sufficient to just be like, I passed? Right, but you'll have you to know do what I'm two saying? things, right? You have to do the written, and then you have to do the soil 
Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So on the 17th of October, oh, when one, I've one, already one. completed Perfect. both of them, Perfect. is that, can I sit, go on the 17th of October, go down to as, Dennis as and say, if you have, you know, if you can just get them to email the office, yeah, you know, or you, yeah, saying, here's this, you take the email, go to Beth and Dennis, like okay. you just said, and I have no problem with that, too. I have no problem. That's it. So, cool. Yeah, because I didn't want you to wait till a whole meeting. And I didn't oh, want you yeah. to wait till like. Well, it doesn't matter because he'd just get the money back to the date that he would ask. Yeah, he, that's that'll true. be fine. So, no matter when it happens. Right. Yeah, that's true. He's going to get paid. Right. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, All right. And then you have to get the soil septic inspector thing, which. <laughs> One thing at a time. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm glad you're patient. <laughs> okay, so nothing on CBD, food and security, interns. I make a motion that we accept an Amazon business receipt for $26.98. Yeah. Okay, all those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Opposed, saying so. I have an invoice from SD Septic Inspections in the amount of $500 for different uh, locations, and I'm going to read them. Okay, fine. 8 Irene Court, Burke Test. 49 Lakeshore Drive, Burke Test. 62 Mellon Street, Burke Test. 123 Menden Street, Burke Test. And 11 South Main Street, Burke Test. Okay. For a total of $500. I make a motion we approve. Okay. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. First one, second yeah. one. Got it. We got more from Steve. I have uh, an invoice from SD Septic Inspections in the amount of $600, and it's for 66 Stephen Road, Burke Test, 0 Farm Street, Burke Test, 3 Old Log Road, Burke Test, 39 Bellwood Circle, Burke Test, 8 Priscilla Avenue, Burke Test, 57 Weathersfield Road, Burke Test. The amount of 600, I make a motion, we approve. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, saints are carried. I have an SD septic inspections uh, we bill for $300, and it's for 1099 South Main Street, Burke Test, 78 Hickson Street, Burke Test, 55 Stephen Road, Burke Test, $300, I make a motion, we approve. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. So carried. Those three bills are split up that way because it's June, July, August. Oh, okay. that's fine. So that's okay, why. Good. I was going to say, what is going on? I thought yeah. we were both nailing all the ones. Okay. No, I have three a months. Uh, bill from Massachusetts Association of Health Boards, MAHB, in the amount of $225. It's membership dues for 2025. I make a motion that we approve. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, so carry. Okay. Okay. Well, that's two signatures should be good enough for this, Richie. Okay. 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 I have an invoice <laughs> from for Langer and Sons in the amount of $25,000. It's for Teresa Scanlon, Scanlon, sorry, 170 Patricia Drive, Bellingham, and it's for pump out the tank, disposal tank, uh, complete set that says. I make a motion that we approve. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. So carry. Thank you. That's a, uh, that's just a betterment system. Yeah, so I have an invoice from Phil's Landscaping Excavating uh, in the amount of $600, and it was billed to William Ute. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I think it was Biot. I think he said it the last time. Biot. 49 Weathersfield Road. I make a motion that we approve. Not second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, so carry. So Dylan, let me know you're gonna do your first your good and farewell. Because we have none there, Rick, but we have two things. One Dylan, one Vinny. 
Um, so pricing, I call it. What, was, what people, was my thing again? I forgot. Um, I, I think I said we're going to bring up the dog issue, but the other issue was. Um, I think we might have already touched upon mine. Okay. Um, we have a wasn't wasn't important enough to remember uh, so um, okay. We had littering uh, at Larry's for thirty. Five thirty-six dollars. Yeah. Um, so I sent pictures to Laura and to Bill. And, sorry, Laura, to bother you, but I said send out a bind. We're not dealing with this anymore. There was furniture, mattress, boxes. I did drive past. I literally drove past. Well, you know Monday morning's gonna be gone. That's too late. Yeah. I mean, when you get the twenty-four, I'm not doing a twenty-four hours in one minute. I'm not doing a twenty-five. I did. I would buy it thirty hours, thirty-six hours. I refused to go back before it gets dark on Sunday. I yeah. was there for 4 30 in the afternoon. And it had been there all day Saturday, but in the morning when I noticed it at 10 o'clock. So, you know, it was 36 hours. And, you know, it was, I tried to stop in. He doesn't open till 10 o'clock. Yeah. So I couldn't stop in and say, if that's not gone in two hours when I come back to Home Depot, you're getting fined. Yeah. I didn't have the right vehicle. The tickets are in the red car. Yeah. But whatever. That said, I said, you know, I'm not doing this. I yeah. said, you know, I didn't mean to bother you, both of you, but, you know. So what was the people with trash are just constantly disrespecting us. And yeah. I'm, I'm getting it from other people saying, you know, I, I live in this main drag. What do you guys, you know, you, you speak a lot about that. And I said, I know it's me who says, I'm the trash guy and you know it we have regulations and we pass a commercial one but some people are saying like you know you're not doing your job yeah. and i'm saying no we are doing our job i said but we are very busy yeah. and i don't want to get into other issues you know like the rat thing but we have a lot of things going on yep and you know whatever yeah. so if he had been open sunday i was going to take care of it. yeah i had a ticket and he was getting it. yeah how much was it uh, commercial littering is three hundred dollars. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. He learned a lesson. He will have learned a lesson. So the other quick thing was um, the dog issues. I sent last week, the week before, I sent a picture from a resident or non-resident who sent me a picture of a dog in market basket. But when I went to speak to the manager, and Dylan had already spoken to him the week before about a dog. The bad news is the first time I, I told you to go see the, the manager, the guy told me, who the hell do you think you are? And at all. And he started to come towards me at one point. Yeah. Because I was taking a picture of him. I'm going like, dude, you know, the minute you start coming towards me, there's a two by four there. I'm going to hit you and the dog with it because I'm old and I feel threatened. Yeah. I just told him that no dogs are allowed unless it's a service dog. And you know why he knew it wasn't a service dog? He had one of those 25 foot things and the dog was maxed out running around. Yeah. You know? Now, if he had come towards me, you know, I'm gonna use the old adage, I was bit when I was 13 years old. You know, yeah. This was a so small I guess, dog. So the, the, the point you, is I yeah. went to see the manager, another dog. This time I couldn't find a dog, but it was barking vehemently in the store. So I went to see Mr. Mahan, the manager, and he said, Sir, and I said, You can call me. He says, we do tell them, he said, but they yell and scream at us, F us. And he said, what are we going to do? He said, we can't confront them. I said, no, you're not to do that. I said, but, you know, I said, I guess, and I wasn't sure I wanted to ask both of you guys. I said, you know, there's no board of health for us, man. Can you call the police department? Yeah. yeah. I would say yes. Right. Okay. So in the future. If they're acting like that, I, right, that's right. that's what the police are for. Correct, correct. correct me if I'm wrong. Right, right. If someone's acting right. belligerent, right, and you don't feel safe, right, you call the police. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. He says we have a lot of female employees. Yeah. I say I understand. My wife used to be in that situation when she worked yeah. there. That you know, customers will. That's a you. that's a tough one because we need to remain ADA compliant. But yeah. I also completely understand where you're coming from. That it's unacceptable that people are bringing these yappy little tiny right. like right. Right. what are basically lap dogs into well, food establishments relatively big dogs oh no but i'm big. you know what i'm yeah full size non-trained dog correct correct You're um right. i mean i i'm more than happy to i already and they defecate and urinate in yeah. the store he said we have to clean that up 
I can reach out to town council and okay. just kind of I, see. I, I, I want to, yeah, I think we already tried if it. If there is a direction. Town council said, you can yeah, write. If a person I would contact before the police even is animal control. Animal control, okay. Yeah, okay. just tell them to either call they animal They can control confront the individual in the store, right. the violation. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's and then that. if it escalates, then the police right. get called in. Can you? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll let, follow up on that tomorrow. Mr. Mahal, I know that. And yeah. the other thing I was thinking is, when we go ahead, and I think we should do this, I mean, I think in other states, it's definitely part of their agenda, and it doesn't violate the state ADA and the federal ADAs. When you have a service dog, not only is it supposed to be marked and you're supposed to have a tag thing, not with your medical, just that that dog is for you. Just like a handicap thing. Yeah. You have to have your registration. Some have to have a picture of you on it. That's fine. But when they're buying it, what do you call it? It's a fraud and it's illegal. Yeah. You're buying a false ID. You yeah. have a false ID to a police officer. You're going to jail. Yeah. Maybe more. In any event, um, I want to pass a regulation or take the regulation and say, listen, true service dogs have to be properly marked and you have to have a training certificate from trainers. There are six of them in Massachusetts that train service dogs. For all different medicals. So what I'll do is I'll and reach I out to town to council, that. and I will see no. if we're allowed to do that under the current ADA okay. compliance. Okay. okay. Does that sound good? Yep. And you know, if I, I don't think it'll be too much of a stretch, yep. but if not, what you need to get from her is what's the maximum amount I can do. I know right now. I told him <laughs> you you. No, that's exactly you what I'll do. You tell yeah. him you know it doesn't look like a service dog. Yep. And it's barking or running around. Then you don't even have to ask that. But if the dog is calm and it doesn't have a, it's not labeled, you can ask them real quickly. They have to answer what it is. What service does that dog provide to you? Yeah. And if they don't tell you what it is, that's not a service dog. Yeah. That's what the ADA says. Yep. So they have to be, how do I say it? You know, when someone lays a question, they have you, to be compliant. Right. It's just like saying, what's your name? Yeah. And you know, you should know your name without even thinking about it. Yeah. You know, whatever. That's fine. All right. So anyway, okay, that's it. That's all I have. I make a motion that we adjourn. Okay. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed the saints. Okay. We're adjourned. All right. Okay, thank you guys. Have a good night, Laura. Have a good night. Have a good night.